Well, Wolf, in about two hours, Chris Christie will appear on an Ask the Governor radio show in New Jersey, and it'll be the first time he will answer extensive questions in public since that marathon press conference last month where he denied knowing anything about so-called Bridgegate. But behind the scenes, Wolf Christie's team is already pushing back hard on the latest accusation that Christie is not telling the truth. A snowy day in the Garden State, and Chris Christie turned to Twitter to warn constituents about hazardous conditions and declare a state of emergency. While the state of Christie's own national future is increasingly unclear. Support from independents helped make him a different kind of Republican. But a new CNN ORC poll shows Christie losing independent voters to Hillary Clinton in a hypothetical 2016 matchup, 39 percent to 52 percent. A dramatic change from just one month earlier, where it was the complete opposite. Christie got 59 percent from independent voters and Clinton 33 percent. Thank you very much to all of our partners, the NFL, the team owners. Even this nonpartisan Super Bowl ceremony appeared to turn political this weekend. Enough speeches at the same thing. Boos coming from the crowd the during the governor's brief remarks. Still, Christie is trying to get back on offense against former advisor David Wildstein, whose lawyer claims to have evidence that Christie knew about September GW bridge closings while they were happening. This memo goes after Wildstein in a blistering, personal way, attacking his character with examples that start in high school, saying of Wildstein, as a 16-year-old kid, he sued over a local school board election, and he was publicly accused by his high school social studies teacher of deceptive behavior. In his press conference last month, Christie tried to dispute reports he and Wildstein were childhood friends. You know, I was the class president and athlete. I don't know what David was doing during that period of time. A concerned Christie friend told CNN those remarks may have antagonized Wildstein, but Christie is doubling down. Christie is seeing new support from some lukewarm to him in the past, conservatives, accepting an invitation to the annual CPAC event, a who's who of conservatives that dissed him last year. Its leader saying this. You know, the CPAC is for, like, professional sports, the all-star game. Some years you, you get in and some years you don't. Now, Christie is throwing red meat to conservatives by going hard after one of their favorite targets, the New York Times, for initially reporting that Wildstein had evidence that Christie was not telling the truth, only to later soften that to reflect the more vague accusation that Wildstein's lawyer really made. But I talked to a high-profile conservative, Wolf, who told me today that Christie's attack the media strategy uh, and conservative sympathy for that only goes so far.